Porn Tea Tea Time, everyone's favorite YouTube show that's up and coming. We got 3,000 subscribers, you know how it'd be. Something different. I don't know if I can consider it tea. This is a Yao Pan. Um, it's actually not within the tea family that's traditional. Is a weed? Hey mom, guess what is 420? Like a, from a bush? Doesn't actually grow like weed normally. <laughs> like tea normally does. It's actually the only uh, plant in the United States that naturally has caffeine in it. You can find it in the deep south within, like I think searching from all the way from Alabama all the way up to like South, South Carolina. It's actually just a plant. It's just not tea. It's more of a weed. Um, but it's not wheat. There is a strong evidence that um, Yaopan was used for Native American rituals. Um, they would use them for getting more in touch with themselves. They would drink copious amounts of it, inducing vomiting. If you if you just do the uh, one tablespoon, you should be good. All right, so uh, let's get on to it. As you know, we've been doing a different format of no sugar, sugar, and milk. Don't do milk. You're insulting me and thousands of years in Native American culture. As you can see, it is really leafy. Um, it's super, super brittle. If we go here, we could just go like that, and it's all like 20 times smaller. You're gonna wanna use a disposable tea bag for this one using a, um, a strainer like this. Uh, it's so fine after, after it breaks down and is in hot water that it'll slip through here. I'm one of those people who don't like tea leaves in my tea because I'm terrified that it'll go down my throat, and I don't want that. Right, on the top it says to about four to six minutes, so um, I'm not going to talk for that long. I'm just going to make my editor work. Get a little bit of that early color. Um, definitely a different kind of green. It's got more of a earthy tone. Like you, you, get a, you get a good look at that, it almost looks like grass. <laughs> well, I guess while we're waiting we can do the uh, sniff test. Um, super grassy, um, and not in a weed way. But it's definitely got some, you know, naturally occurring weed notes. A little bit of floral uh, hints. Uh, if there are naturally occurring flowers on it, it just kind of has a little bit of that. Green tea has a very distinct smell. Um, you, you can tell that it's tea, uh, but this it just it doesn't smell like anything like it. Like tea. Yeah. It's been like three minutes, which is like almost four minutes, so... I'm not going to leave it seeping in here for any longer. Um, I find that with green teas, um, especially the Yopan, if you uh, leave it in for too long, it's just super, super bitter. It's got a little bit of yellowness. Almost like a good cigar. Looks a little bit like cat piss. Cat piss? Like cat piss. It doesn't taste like it though, but not as hot as I thought it would be. I'm kind of surprised. The one I had last night was smoking. Steaming. Yeah, it doesn't taste like tea. It doesn't taste like tea at all. It's super bitter. Almost like if you like left in green tea for seeping for too long. It's surprisingly good for how bitter it is. I'm realizing that I was meant to smell the actual tea, not just it's seeping. Ooh, that's super sweet. Super surprised because how bitter the tea is, huh? Not adding sugar is really interesting. I think that would be what I recommend most. Um, if you're just kind of looking for a quick fix, something that'll really wake you up like that, you can put some sugar in it. So we're using a uh, half a teaspoon. It numbs the grassy flavor, but I think uh, if it's your first time drinking, a little bit of sugar goes a long way. Um, eases you in to the uh, Yopan, uh, makes it, I don't know, easier to drink. Yeah, the sugar really brings out the, the floral notes. I can't name a flower without lavender, but it's nothing like lavender. And I'm slowly realizing I don't know what lavender tastes like. The Yopan would be much, much better with sugar. Um, I'm trying to drink it straight, but it, it definitely adds a little bit, a bit more flavor um, in a good way. Um, takes away some of the flavor, but um, can't tell if that's good or bad. 
but the Thai caffeine content, it's a really good pick me up in the middle of the day. If you're not looking to have some more coffee or you've had too much black tea today, Yopan might be exactly what you're looking for. Um, it'll wake you up because it's such a different flavor. Um, it'll keep you up because of that caffeine. It's super, super unique. Uh, I don't think I could even consider it a tea. Um, kind of just like a concoction of weed, grass, flowers, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know I just said three euphemism for marijuana, but overall I'd probably have to give this tea a seven out of 10. It, it's solid, it's not perfect, but I think you should try it. And that's all I got. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. No one's commented yet and honestly crushes me. Um, but the, the few subscribers I have, you, uh, you're the real ones. Um, so yeah, over now.